and gentlemen, it's Saturday night, which means you're watching the extra show, which also means you're about to watch some stand-up comedy. So, please welcome to the stage the absolute brilliant Mr. Ray Peacock! <laughs> That was scary. Oh, sorry? Oh, the cameraman what? Oh, your camera is broke and it is making everyone look fat. All right. <laughs> so, well, as long as the people at home know that that is all it is. <laughs> Shush. Um, <laughs> it's really nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, I should, I'm, I'm not even meant to be gigging. I'm meant to be... Um, I'm ill. I'm ill. I've not been well. And, um, no, it's fine. You can... <laughs> Please don't worry yourselves with... No, fuck off. Don't... <laughs> I am, no, I've been genuinely ill in real life, though. Um, in fact, I wasn't even going to do this. And they rang up and they went, do you want to do a gig? And I went, I can't, I'm ill. And they went, no, but it is Russell Howard's Good News. And I went, nevertheless. And they went, no, but the audience will all be there. <laughs> or, and I went, right, well, I will do it then. <laughs> because I like them. So. <laughs> and um, I've got an iPod. Thank you. Um, and other stuff as well. Um, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what's actually happened. I'll, I'll tell you the truth about what it is. I've not really spoke about it very much. Um, I was ill last year. What happened was, one night, out of the blue, my left kidney just went, fuck this! I'm not doing kidney stuff anymore! And just stopped! Right? I mean, it was absolutely terrifying. I dropped to my knees. I think I've got quite a high pain threshold normally. But it, just, it wiped me out. I just dropped to my knees. And my girlfriend came running in. I shit you not, I've got a girlfriend, right? <laughs> oh, honest to God, honestly. I live with her. <laughs> um, no, don't, because if she wants shit, she'll think something's up. Um, <laughs> she came running through, and I'm on, the, I'm on the floor, and she's going, what, what has happened? I went, Am ambulance. And she went, really? I went, yeah, real ambulance. I'm dying. Wipe my hard drive. Wipe my hard drive. That's in porn. <laughs> Not because of that. I mean, just normal porn. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they called they call the ambulance. The ambulance came. And, um, and see, I believe in the NHS and stuff like that. I'm a, you know, I'm a big believer in it. But I think I, I dropped proper unlucky. I got a really bad one. Because they came in, the ambulance crew, and, and they went, what's up? And I'm on the floor going, I don't know. <laughs> and they went, well, what's wrong? I went, it's hurting. I'm, I'm in agony, right? And they went, well, what do you want us to do? <laughs> and I was like, mm, can I make it better, please? <laughs> I'll pay my tax, I promise, right? But they took me to the hospital, because it's the only way they know. And um, <laughs> they took me there, and the doctor that saw me, right? And by the way, this is the doctor saying this, not me. So don't be saying that I said this. It's controversial, but it was a doctor who said it, right? And he went, I'll tell you what, he went, that pain you've had tonight is worse than any possible pain from childbirth, right? He said, no, it wasn't me. And I, I said, I went, are you sure? He went, no, defo. In, in fact, in fact, then, right, he went, in fact, I think sometimes they're just whining bitches like that, right? <laughs> I, I know, I know. I went, what is that? And he, he'd gone, he was going, no, I do. But that's, but the rest of this is true, right? And, um, <laughs> so I went home, it kind of levelled out. They worked out that my kidneys were working at about 30%. So it was, I was, I was all, my, my left kidney was 30%. And then about six months later, my right kidney had obviously been looking at my left kidney <laughs> and going, what the fuck is that? I'm doing all, that's not doing nothing. I'm doing all of it, look. Um, pancreas, is it? I don't know, where, where is there? Look. <laughs> look, pancreas, is it, if it is that. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping as well. Strike, right? And just stopped as well. Back down on my knees, back to the hospital. Um, and they took it a bit more seriously that time. It was one of those NHS hospitals where they give you multiple choice about what you want to have up with you. And, um, and the doctor said, basically, he said, it's either kidney stones or kidney cancer. And I went, well, I've had a lovely day. <laughs> and I'm going to go for stones on this one, please, can I have stones? And this, but I still don't know, this is the weird thing about it. I still don't properly know what's wrong with me, because I'm, I'm sure now that I'm dying. No doctor said it, I'm sure of it though, I've decided it, right? <laughs> but what's happened since I've put this little sort of death wish thing on myself is I've, I've become fearless. 
It's actually, it's, it's improved my life. You think you'd cave in, it's not. It's been amazing because I've now decided I can cause as much trouble as I want because by the time it goes to court, I'll be dead. <laughs> but, I, mean, I mean, in a way, by, by the time this is broadcast, I might be dead, so I could just ruin this if I want. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Saying fuck on telly. Fuck, fuck, fuck. See, easy. Right? But what, what I've done, I got barred, wait to hear this, I got barred last year, and you're all gonna be thinking it's gonna be a pub or a club or something. No. I got barred from the London dungeon. <laughs> Which, by the way, takes some doing. Are you familiar with the London Dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you're not, uh, what it is, it's basically, it's a ghost train in London without a train in it. Um, <laughs> it's very, very popular, it's, it's a really good day out. And, and also, we made it a very good day out. I think we added a lot to it. Me and my friend Ed went to it, who's, Ed's my best friend, I would say. I, I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. Um, but we, um, what it is, you go in there, you go in a queue, first of all, outside. You queue for half an hour, and then you go through the door, you queue for another, like, 15 minutes or something, then you pay, and then you queue again. And I'm still there going, what is this? And Ed's going, no, is it not good? I'm like, I could stand in the dark at home. And he went, no, no, it gets better. And it fucking does. <laughs> right? It really, really does. Because they've got all actors in there, playing characters from history and stuff. Like, just ones they've made up, I suppose. Um, and the first thing that happened, they opened the door, you go around in, like, groups of 20 and stuff, and there was a girl stood there in all, like, olden days dress, and she went, I am from the 16th century, right? Without missing a beat, me and Ed just went, whoa, <laughs> no way, how? How, what's happened? Are you stuck? <laughs> and I see a little face going, D -d -d 16th century. <laughs> and we're going, well, where did you get your glasses from? <laughs> Ed got his mobile out and was going, ooh, <laughs> ooh snake, <laughs> right? First warning that was, that early. Um, and that came from a lady who went, behave, you two. And we were going, no. <laughs> I am dying. Yeah, he is dying. <laughs> right, then, they put us on a boat. And I don't know why. Right? I, I got all the rest of it. They had, like, the plague and that. I understood that. The Great Fire of London, I got that. And then we were just suddenly on a boat. He's going, what's this, the Great London Log Flume? When did this happen? <laughs> Right, and the girl that put us on the ride, we'd already been misbehaving, as I told you, but the girl, she's quite a hefty girl, she went, oh, you might die on the ride. And me and Ed were going, oh, we better make the most of it then, aren't we? And she's going, oh, no, 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 <laughs> We're gone. We were on the, in our log. <laughs> we were with um, a load of Swedish tourists who were, and they, they were terrified, because it was like pitch black and there was like lightning and stuff. It wasn't real lightning, right? <laughs> and they were all scared, and me and Ed were going, that's not fair. You can't bring guests to the country and then I would scare them like that. So um, we decided that we'd break that tension, um, and we'd done that by singing It's a Small World After All. <laughs> yeah, which they loved that. They loved it. Joined in. They couldn't get it right properly. Um, and I know that you're all sat there now going, yeah, but why were you bored? Right, basically, I punched an actor, right? Um, <laughs> and I will tell you, deliberately. Right? Because what happens is they jump out at you all the time to make you jump and stuff, right? They're going, rah! And like, oh, bloody hell, look at that. Yeah, oh, piss and shit, look at that, right? <laughs> and after all 20 of these, I just turned to Ed and went, I'll tell you what, right? Next one of these that jumps out, I'm just going to smack him. <laughs> just pretend I couldn't help it, I thought it was under attack. <laughs> now, what I will tell you, I'll say first of all, I regret this. In fact, I'm legally obliged to. <laughs> <laughs> Up until that point, Everyone who jumped out had all been blokes. <laughs> yeah, they had. They had. No matter what you're imagining, it was worse. <laughs> she was like, she was yay big. I know. And I, I, I've, never, I've never hit a woman in my life. It wasn't like proper asking for it. And, uh, I know, no, no, oh, that sounds wrong. I mean, like, in a sexy way. I go, oh, will you will? And they're like, yeah, of course I will, no problem. <laughs> I don't mean like going, Put Top Gear back on. <laughs> but, yeah. With another me at the window going, What are you doing? <laughs> Get off her! <laughs> what are you doing? That should work, that advert. I imagine that should work. <laughs> That'll probably stop it, won't it, that advert? <laughs> anyway. Um, so she jumped out like that. Yeah! And I went, <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ed straight away went, That was a woman one! And I knew it was a woman one! Right, she went down like a sack of shit. Like, went, boom, <laughs> on the floor. She looked up, like, the bled so quick. Like, it was like a flag going down. <laughs> and she's on the floor going, ah, ah. 
Yeah, and me straight away, I'm going, yeah! Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right, it is frightening in here. Leg it, leg it, leg it. <laughs> a woman came over who worked there, I presume. Well, I know she did, cos she barred us. Um, <laughs> she came over, she had a suit on and stuff. And uh, by the way, I'm, I will normally be confrontational. I will, I will decide to, you know, fight my, fight my cause. But on this occasion, I decided to just let it lie a little bit because she came over and she went, look, you've got to go. And I went, I know. <laughs> and that is not acceptable. I know, no, pinch it, pinch it, because it's going on your frock, look. That, I, I know that is wrong. We, we, sh we will go, we will go happily. Where, where do we go? Out the fire escape, what do we do? And that's when it got weird because she went, well, no, all the alarms will go off. I went, right, what, what do we do then? And she went, just go through it, but quick. <laughs> I was like, what? what? Just go through it, but quick. And I was like, no, no. You've seen what we've done when we're allowed to be here. <laughs> right, now, if tonight, if someone in the audience tonight was kicking off, OK, and the staff come over and go, right, you, right, you're barred, but you can stay till the end. <laughs> <laughs> You've nothing to lose at that point. You'd kick off more, you'd raise your game. And we did. And we, and we really... Ed put my head through a window that we thought was plastic, but it was glass. <laughs> like, honestly, God, he got me for a photo. He went... Psh! I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, right, Ed, Ed, bring me... Cos I had, like, jagged glass around me there. Ed, Ed, bring me out slow. Bring me out... No, no, don't do bumming. That's not funny, cos I am stuck in glass. We had to have a woman follow us around to tell other members of the public we weren't the real actors. Because <laughs> we were walking around going, Ooh, I am Jack the Ripper! Oh, I've not done one for ages, I'm right in the mood for it! This is my brother Jack too! We are doing it together, it's gonna be great! So they were bad. Proper bad. But it's worth doing though, eh? We got, a few years later, we got barred from Louis Two Swords in Blackpool, uh, which is the waxworks on Blackpool front, um, because I broke Barack Obama's arm. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, they have a tableau set up. We <laughs> I shouldn't even admit this on the telly, because they might then go, look, he's admitted it. Because on the day I was going, no, it wasn't me. Yeah, it, it was me. <laughs> um, they've got Barack Obama just standing there like that. Not the real one, so a, a waxwork of him like that and they've got the White House behind it and stuff, and you go up and shake his hand. If you ever go there, right, it's great. It's Louis Two Swords of Blackpool, it's fantastic, but if you ever go there, right, you can't shake his hand, <laughs> right? You have to just hold it and have your photo took, because I found that out, because I was going, oh, look, it's Barack Obama, hello, there, please to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, and, and I was holding it, I just went, Ed, <laughs> Ed, come on, come on. <laughs> I have broke Barack Obama's arm. <laughs> I am holding it up in his sleeve. <laughs> and there was all like people queuing, wanting to have the photos. Like I was going, get rid of him. <laughs> and Ed, oh, it was adorable because he just went, this one is cancelled. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely adorable. Thank you for having me. I've been Ray Peacock. Good night. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Peacock!